What's up everybody, it's Patrick. Uh, went to Sun and Fun today. Today is a special day, kind of. Bose released their newest headset. It's the Bose A30s. The previous edition was the A20s for most of uh, professional pilots and, uh, and just pilots with a really nice headset. So today, my kids are volunteering at Sun and Fun and I asked them to grab me a pair, so I went up there and they grabbed a pair for me. Uh, this is the new Bose A30. I tried to buy them online this morning at 8.15 a.m. and they were sold out and they opened purchasing at 8 a.m. is what I was told. So, uh, crazy lucky to have a pair of these, but I wanted to unbox them for you real quick. So let's do that. All right, here we go. Bose A30s. one here. And another one. It's probably another one somewhere too. Well, that's it. So that's what you get. It's the box. Pretty standard Bose packaging. Have a look at the outside sleeve. That's what you're getting from Bose. And uh, the quick read, uh, essentially it's gonna be a little lighter. It's supposed to have better A&R um, and a few other features, it's supposed to just cleaner audio. So I think it's just gonna be an updated version of the A20s, nothing crazy special. And uh, let's try to get it in this box, see what we can do. All right. There we go. All right, so there you go. First unboxing of the Bose A30s. That's going to get uh, challenging to say. I want to say A20s every time I say it. So you get your uh, aviation headset booklet. This is probably a warranty packet. And you get a start guide. So take a quick peek at the start guide. Probably just like every other one. And of course, like most people, they'll never read that stuff. So, let's see what we get. The bag is nice. It's uh, kind of cut differently. Got some nice angles to it. Looks nice and professional. Feels like nylon. Would have been cooler if it would have been leather or something, but this will probably be more durable. All right, guys, here's what we've been waiting for. There you go. So that is the new A30s. And uh, I don't know if that'll stay there, but we'll start off down here. Open up this package, the zipper down here, and there we go. All right, so we got some AA batteries. And that looks like some type of silicone wrap for the handle. So we'll leave that there. That is, I think, your backup uh, headphone cord, just in case your device doesn't have Bluetooth or something. It actually says, yeah, aux cord. I'll never use that. They say never say never, Patrick. All right, so here, we got the control and the plug wrapped up in a bread tie or a tie wrap. I guess you guys call that tie wrap, but I call it a bread tie. All right. So kind of the same thing on the H20s. The clamp. Let's get this guy open. This does look different, I think. So I currently don't have a comparison to compare to because my H20s I'm a really good friend and I loaned them out to my buddy Daryl like six months ago, maybe a year ago now, Jesus. Um, he went to ATP to get his commercial license and start that path and he had an old set of DCs. And I said, man, everyone's gonna have a set of bows. You can't be the guy there without bows. And he fought me on it and then he tried them and then he didn't fight me on it anymore. So um, 
he currently still has my Bose. So this is supposed to be a tool-free uh, headset change. So I think, and I'll have to read the instructions, guys, but I think you can pop this off and flip your headset. Again, I don't know how you do it. And I'll read the instructions, I promise, before I break my headset. But this flips over here, tool-free. How tool-free? I don't know. I haven't read the instructions yet. Literally, I'm opening it right now. So I may have to do a second part to this, but that's what you get. And get a little R for right, L for left. Uh, it's supposed to be, I don't remember how many ounces, but it's supposed to be a little bit lighter on the head. The clamping force isn't supposed to be as hard. Uh, they still swivel pretty good, and uh, and they look great. And I don't know if these light up, or, they, or that's probably just a uh, the microphone for noise canceling on both headphones. So there's that. we get these back in here. Again, here's the controller. So you get your volume, um, your battery power, your high, medium, low, uh, your mute, your mix off, Bluetooth, uh, and this looks like a Bluetooth volume controller so since we're here let's do this power them up for the first time yep yeah that was me i dropped the uh dropped one of the batteries so they probably go in just like normal you pull this guy back okay so that lifts up and you get battery here and battery there. That goes down, that clips back on. So I'm sure, I'm not sure. I have no clue where this goes. Again, it probably goes somewhere like this. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. And maybe it's to hold it, I don't know, but it's there and it fits that way. Maybe it goes the other way, I'm not sure. It is what it is. And then, you know, you get there. So let's power it on real quick. And I'm sure if you wanted to search for Bluetooth, then it may be pairing now. So I'm not sure, but that's it. That's your uh, Bose A30s. Very similar to the A20s, uh, just supposed to be a little lighter and they are supposed to, um, supposed to have a little bit better noise canceling and a little bit better audio um it's essentially gen 2 of the a20s so based on what i see i'll have to try them out in flight but that's what you get for i think after taxes i think it was like a little over 1300 dollars, just less than shy of 1400 dollars after taxes so um between 13 and 1400 bucks uh, yes it is expensive uh, yes you can keep these for a very very long time and you will be happy you did so if you're looking for a new headset for sure, check out the A30s. If they are just too steep, you might be able to find a good deal on someone selling their A20s. Um, who knows? Either way, if you go with Bose, you can't miss. I also want a pair of Light Speeds. I did see Light Speed had a uh, new headset coming out that had CO2 detection. I thought that was pretty cool. It like enunciates it in your headphones. Um, I'm not super sure that would be applicable to me i have a co2 monitor on my dash of the airplane so it doesn't really bother me too much to not have it announced in my ear but it could save my life so that's also a good uh something to check out too until then if you guys have any questions hit me up in the comment section thanks for watching